LeeTDickey.com. Well, hello, everybody. Lee Dickey here. Welcome to another episode of Pinfall, a pro wrestling podcast from the mind of a wrestling fan who's watched wrestling the majority of his life. You will get watch alongs of matches, reviews, segments, stories from my own fandom, and opinions just like this one. In today's episode, I am going to tell you and ask you. Who should be on the cover of WWE 2K20, the newest video game, the newest game in the 2K series for consoles? Now, I personally haven't played a WWE video game since probably 2K14, which had The Rock on the cover. So, it's simply because I don't have a current-gen console. So maybe I'm a little bit out of the loop, even though I, you know, pay attention to the product and I've seen the covers of basically all the video games that the WWE has ever released and ever produced. And to be quite honest with you, this is what I think and who I think should be on the cover of WWE 2K20. Now, I know by the time this goes up, you may have already seen the reveal and by the time you listen to this because I'm recording this on August 2nd so this will come out on the Monday the day of the cover reveal for WWE 2K20 which is August 5th and this episode will go live at midnight eastern time so by the time you hear this you may have already seen who is going to be on the cover and the cover may have already been revealed but still This is who I think, and this is what I think, should be on the cover of WWE 2K20. So without further ado, let's get right into that. But first, I want to get a little housekeeping out of the way. You can find Pinfall, a pro wrestling podcast, on my official website, LeeTDickey.com, iTunes, Spotify, and wherever you get your favorite podcasts. So... Now that that housekeeping is out of the way, let's finally get into who I think and what I think should be on the cover of WWE 2K20. Here we go. Yes, now if you're like me and you're a giant wrestling fan, obviously video games are a big thing. And I have owned, I still own, a lot of the original WWE video games or WWF video games that I did in my childhood. So, like, you know, WrestleMania 2000 and No Mercy on the Nintendo 64. Um, I did get rid of the first, I did, well, not get rid of, but I sold off some of them, like the WWE, the original WWF SmackDown and SmackDown Know Your Roll and uh, SmackDown Just Bring It and a lot of the PS2 titles as well because uh, I had almost every WWF video game from, say, WrestleMania 2000 up to like WWE 2K14 and I just you know I wasn't playing them anymore so I did sell a bunch of them off I did have the original WWF Smackdown and uh, Know Your Role so along with a couple of the uh, PlayStation 2 titles like Here Comes the Pain or Just Bring It and uh, Shut Your Mouth I sold all those and you know Got out of video gaming for a little while, but once I managed to get myself a PlayStation 3, I got back into it. So I have basically WWE uh, 13 and 2K14. So that's basically where my experience with WWE video games starts and ends. Uh, As I don't have a current gen console and basically all the... Uh, releases for the WWE 2K games are now on the current gen consoles of the PS4, the Xbox One. They're on PC again, and um, they're on uh, the Nintendo Switch. I don't have a current gen console. I have no way to play these games. So, you know, that's where I stand with WWE video games these days. But in terms of the cover reveal of WWE 2K20, this is what I think. You could go with someone like Brock again. They did give him the cover of uh, 2K17. You could go with somebody like 
AJ Styles again. I mean, why not go back to back? Because he was on the cover of last year's uh, title, 2K19. There's always Seth Rollins. I mean, he was on the cover of uh, 2K18, so why not just do that again? Um, you could give it to somebody like Daniel Bryan. I mean, why not? Someone like Roman Reigns, since they're pushing him down our throats. And to be honest, I'd accept him more now, uh, given that he's obviously, you know, come back from leukemia and this illness. Not that I'm touting, yeah, I'll put him on the cover because he said leukemia, but he's, I think he's much more a fan favorite, much more a baby face now that like, rest, you know, life got real. He went off to battle that illness and he's back now. So you know, put him on the cover. Like I have no qualms about it. I don't, I can't even remember whether or not he'd made a cover before that. Um, but I think if they're going to put anybody on the cover, put Roman on the cover. Why not? You know, since he is basically the guy. And it would make sense. I and mean, it really wouldn't bother me none because, I mean, it's a video game and it's WWE and they're known for, I mean, they shoved Roman down our throats for years. And it really, it's just, it wouldn't be anything new in terms of uh, what I think would be on the cover and what I think should be on the cover. I mean, put Roman on the cover, sure. I'm not going to, you know, blow smoke or get my feathers in an uproar. But truthfully, like, you could go with Kofi. Why not? He had a magnificent run with, with the title earlier this year. And, yeah, like, why not just do that? You know, like, give the title or put Kofi on the cover and you let him just... Why not, right? Put jo Samoa Joe could be on the cover. But truthfully, like, you could go with a male superstar, right? As they traditionally would. But why not go with a female superstar? Why not, you know, encompass this whole women's revolution that they have touted over the past few years, ever since, like, the four horsewomen in NXT? Just put a woman front and center put a female superstar front and center and there you go there is your ultimate pr move there is your like ultimate like see we're about this women's revolution and we've put your favorite superstar your favorite female superstar on the cover why not do that i'd be all for it put somebody like alexa bliss on the cover charlotte becky bailey oscar Am I missing anybody? Like, Mandy Rose, Paige, you know, Shayna Baszler. Have I mentioned her yet in that little spiel? Like, you could put all these fantastic women, Sasha Banks, you could put all these women on the cover of your video game of 2K20, and... It would you'd go along with the times. I mean, that's the that's where we are now. We're like, it's female empowerment. That is the thing, and you want obviously it's a giant. It's a fantastic PR move, okay? Like, and these, you know, and not only from like a PR standpoint and like touting like strong female figures in sports and professional wrestling and stuff like that, but. I think it's just the right thing to do. I mean, yes, WWE games in the past have featured women on the cover. Like, China was on the first WWF SmackDown. Uh, she was on the cover with, like, The Rock and Mankind. And I think there was another superstar on the cover. I can't remember uh, off the top of my head. But China was on that cover. You had Stacey Keebler on, I think it was the Day of Reckoning or Crush Hour. Like, she made a cover. Stephanie McMahon made a cover. Trish made a cover like women have made covers of video games but I don't think back then women's wrestling was taken as seriously as it is nowadays so put one of your top female stars on the cover why not it's perfect Sasha Bailey Charlotte Oscar Carmella you know you've got all these fantastic Becky, the man. Here's an idea: put Becky on the cover, subtitle the man, and you've got everything. Okay, it's fantastic. I'm just saying, just Becky on the cover, Charlotte, 
And if you want to give it to another part-timer like you did with Brock in twenty in 2K17, let's j I give it to Ronda. Put Ronda on the cover. Why not? It hasn't stopped you before. But I do realize as I'm recording this um, and as this gets released that they've probably made up their minds months ago or even last year when they started developing this year's title. So who knows? But they may surprise us and put somebody you you didn't expect on the cover but i think that it's high time we get a woman front and center on the cover like i love samoa joe i love aj styles i love ricochet you know but i think it's just high time we get a woman on the cover we get a female superstar on the cover simply because that's where the times are and we're touting like strong female figures and presence in sports and in basically in all of life at this point put a female superstar on the cover oscar charlotte carmella um becky Shayna baszler like you have them all okay so put them on the cover ronda if you want to give it to a part-timer and you think it'll sell like why not just do that? But I think it's high time we put a woman on the cover. I mean, these guys, are they've had lights-out matches, like Bailey Sasha from uh, NXT TakeOver. You guys remember that one from some years back? And then Charlotte Asuka from WrestleMania. That was lights-out, in my opinion. Why not? It just makes sense. Put Nia Jax on the cover. Alexa Bliss, right? Like... Why not put Nia Jax on the cover? You get Alexa, uh, Alexa Bliss. There's Nikki Cross. Yeah, you have all this female talent, and I think it's just high time we give them their own cover. You put them front and center. Why not? I think it would be perfect. My opinion, of course. You tout something like this women's revolution, and it would just be fantastic. Like, not a giant... Well, I guess you could go with a group shot, but I'm thinking singularly since you've done that when with your titles in years past like you had aj on last year's cover seth rollins on the 2k18 brock on 2k17 austin on 2k16 cena on 2k15 the rock on 14 cm punk on uh, 13 and i think randy orton was the cover for 12 but for the past several years you had like male superstars front and center on your covers so why not since you've been touting this women's revolution for so long and for so many years saying that you're at the forefront of all this put a woman front and center yes you've had stacy keebler on a cover yes you've had trish on a cover yes you've had stephanie mcmahon on a cover yes you've had china on a cover and she was you know far ahead of her time anyway just jacked up jacked to the gills and she could whoop your ass but and she could go in the ring however with women's wrestling being taken so seriously nowadays you have all that female talent and i think it's time to take your top female superstar and place her front and center on the cover of WWE 2K20. Of course, you could go with Kofi. You could go with Kevin Owens. You could go with Sami Zayn. You could go with anybody you wanted. AJ, Brock, you know, Austin, The Rock, anybody. You could go with anybody, right? Hypothetically, they have probably made up their minds. And the cover's going to get revealed on Monday. By the time this goes up, this will probably go up before the reveal. So make sure you catch this. Monday at midnight Eastern time, along with other episodes of Pinfall, a pro wrestling podcast, which goes live Monday at midnight Eastern time, every single Monday at midnight Eastern time on iTunes, Spotify, and wherever you get your podcasts. But you've got all that female talent. You could hypothetically pick anybody you wanted, anybody from your roster, male or female. Hell, you could put Vince McMahon on the cover, right? I'm sure. Why wouldn't you do that? Right? It's Vince McMahon's company. Put him on the cover. You could do that. Hypothetically. Right? The thing is, you've been touting this women's revolution for so long. Put your top female star on the cover. Front and center. Bailey, Sasha, 
Oscar, Charlotte, Becky, Shayna Baszler, Carmella, whoever. Like, I just, I, I think we're at a point now where the world is ready for like female empowerment. Right, we're we're all we've been touting like female empowerment the past few years. So if you want to stay ahead of the curve and basically stay with the times, put your top female star on the cover. Again, like I keep saying, Charlotte, Bailey, Oscar, Carmella, Becky, and the list goes on and on. Paige, you could put Ronda on the cover if you really wanted a part timer. Anybody from your female roster, your top female star, put her on the cover, shoot it, you know, strap a rocket to it, shoot it to the moon, and I guarantee you it'll sell like hotcakes. But then again, I'm just saying this from a fan's perspective, and they've probably made up their minds, and we will get to see the cover reveal on Monday, by the, the day that this goes live. But I think it's high time that the WWE put their top female star or a top female star on the cover of WWE 2K20 and w their WWE 2K video game series because that's just where we are in the world, right? If And, you know, women's wrestling is hot. The indie scene is hot. Like, women are getting over. You've got Nia Jax. You've got, like, and, you know, you have people like Awesome Kong, uh, Nyla Rose, and... It, 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 why not right in other companies so why wouldn't like Britt baker uh kylie ray right like you have all these women superstars and wrestlers whether they're in the wwe or not but women's wrestling is hot again wrestling in itself is hot again and if we're gonna stay ahead of the curve and tout this women's revolution thing take your top female star and put her on the cover of your hottest video game title like that would why not Charlotte Becky Oscar Bailey Carmella Shayna Baszler the list goes on and on Alexa Bliss Nikki Cross put a female put your hottest female superstar on the cover that is my opinion that's what I think should happen although they've probably made up their minds they probably made up their minds months ago when they you know started developing this year's title and who knows What's going to happen? Anything can happen in the world of WWE and in the world of video games and in the world in general. But that's my opinion. Put your top female superstar on the cover of your hottest video game and watch it sell like hotcakes. I think that we're at that point where that would happen because that's where the world is. And I think that's what needs to happen, to be quite honest with you. You have a giant female roster stacked with talent. Put somebody from that female roster, your biggest star on the cover, okay? Make it happen. I think that is exactly what needs to happen. I think that's exactly where we are in the world. And I think as a company, if the WWE wants to continue to tout women's wrestling and this women's revolution that they've had, put your top female superstar on the cover. I think it's high time that it happened. But there you go. That's what I think should happen, and that's who I think should be on the cover of WWE 2K20, and that's what I think should really be the case with the WWE series going forward. Like, put your top female star on the cover. Just, there it is. Put your top female star on the cover and watch it sell like hotcakes, right? But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Pinfall, a pro wrestling podcast. Of course, you can find it on my official website, LeeTDickey.com, iTunes, Spotify, and wherever you get your favorite podcasts. But thanks again for listening. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. You can find Pinfall, a pro wrestling podcast, and everything else I do on YouTube by searching Lee Dickey TV. Thanks again for listening. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you all next Monday for a new episode of Pinfall, a pro wrestling podcast. They go live every Monday at midnight Eastern time on your favorite podcast app and my official website, LeeTDickey.com. So this is Lee Dickey for Pinfall, a pro wrestling podcast, Lee Dickey TV on YouTube, LeeTDickey.com, and everything else with my name on it. Signing off. Thanks again for listening. We'll talk to you next Monday. We'll talk to you later. Peace.
LeeTDickey.com.